MJB Demi Task Review with Colonel Gus Arnheim, his orchestra, and Miss Tizzy Lish. Drink a cup of good old MJB. Drink a cup and show that you're as happy as can be. If you're a lover of coffee, then why not drink the best? Order the brand that through the land is far above the rest. Oh, most jolly beverage is MJB. It's perfect when we'll do to do a TV. So drink a cup of tennis and pie. There's nothing like it beneath the sky. Drink a cup of good old MJB. <laughs> Good evening, and how do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and all such expressions of evening greetings. This is Gus Arnheim, mighty glad to be back again, and broadcasting on the MJB demi Review, from here to you, as a friendly gesture of good old MJB. Yes, sir, that was letter perfection, Gus, MJB, the call letters of the nation's kitchen. And that cheery voice, folks, is everyone's signal that once again it is Arnheim time from the good old Golden Gate in San Francisco. With that ever-changing, ever-popular MJB demi Taz Redo, featuring that ever-percolating MJB plumage playgirl, Miss Tizzy Lake. So, Gus, the gate swings wide and welcomes you back. Okay, Colonel Gus Arnheim. Where the little 
Gus Arnheim's own composition, I Cried For You, with Jimmy Newell singing. No. 
Now is your turn to cry over. Well, 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 we have no bananas. Ah, but we have other things equally as attractive. MJB Rice, Free Tea, and MJB Safety Seals. Uh-oh. And before I forget, here's something. Right now, we have that dazzling, fine-feathered friend, Miss Tizzy Lake. The strangest interview this side of the microphone. Appearing all the time, Miss Tizzy Lake. Would you say hello to the folks here? Hello, folks here. And listeners. And if I may tonight... I would like to thank the folks here in San Francisco for the wonderful way you treat young girls here. I don't know when I've ever had such reception as I did coming from the train. When I arrived this Saturday morning, I guess all the Masons and Elks and every organization in town was there to meet me. In fact, I don't know when I've ever seen so many clubs. And uh, I would also like to thank the folks for the way you escorted me from the station. My, it was wonderful. In fact, some of the folks became so excited that before I could tell them their mistake, they put me on another train marked to Los Angeles. I'm supposed to get mixed like that. It's terrible. But I'd like to say that I was just a child of presents and flowers and whatnot. In fact, the Chamber of Commerce presented me with a large plant. And I guess because they knew I'd be so busy with my cooking classes, they decided to give it to me as I was riding along from the station. But in their confusion, they forgot to take it out of the flower pot. But, uh, of course, I knew they were going to give me something. In fact, I could practically see it coming. So, uh, I decided to tie my shoe lace. Wasn't that second? I guess everyone in the city turned out. In fact, even now, when I'm on the street, people turn out. Of course, others turn in doorways and so forth, but... <laughs> as I say, I've been having a sad reality, and I've been just genuine with request to go different places. One place in particular seems very popular right now. Oh, they all seem to want me to go there. <laughs> you know what I mean. But speaking of going places, last evening, a boyfriend of mine called me. I had a very wonderful position. He used to be in the tobacco business. I understand all he knew about it. He picked up right here in San Francisco. <laughs> in the independent, like I always am, I would write to bed. And I got thinking it over. So about 12 o'clock, I called him again. And I guess he was real angry because he said, Well, uh, what do you want? What's biting you now? So I said, That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> this might be even wonderful to be so popular in the bus coming around. But speaking of being popular, a lady stopped me on the street today, just today, and said, Hello, Miss Lick. So I said, How do you do? But how did you know I was Miss Lick? So she said, Well, I eat the same record with you today, and I recognize you by my umbrella. <laughs> I think things like that are so shady. But uh, I'd like to say that many folks have written me to say that my recipe seems to uh, taste rather flat lately. And they would all like a recipe with a different part of an air to it. So tonight we're going to make a recipe the railway engineers are all very fond of, and that is prune pepper. And I'm sure it will raise you to great heights. <laughs> Everybody ready for prune pepper? All righty. First, whip about 21 quarts of whipped cream. Are you whipping? That's good. Now add just the whites of five dozen eggs. Whip to a froth. Now add just the top of 10 lemon meringue pies and put this all in a bowl and whip it back and forth, also up and down, and sideways. Now keep whipping until you hear a cracking noise. I'll wait for you. Now that is what we call cracking the hip, whip. <laughs> now have about 80 prunes ready, and taking one at a time, nail one end of the prune to the kitchen table, and with a pair of your husband's pliers, pull on the other end until all the wrinkles are out. Are you taking out your wrinkles? <laughs> now cut off the excess skin. Now do this until you have 80 prunes de wrinkled. Now cut them into squares about one inch by inch and a half, and then run them through your meat grinder. Now when guests arrive, sprinkle what you have on top of what you got, and serve on a large platter. Now as this will be real light, you will notice that when your guests eat it, they will fill up quickly. So when they do, just say, prune pop up, like that. 
And my, I've even known guests fairly floating around in the air. They're so happy over your soon supper. So folks, to clear this as soon as possible. And if you can, call me at my hotel. And I'll be happy to think I can still hear from you. And now, as the tax journalist says, I'll have to keep stopping along. As I have to give a cooking lesson to some pictures on the San Francisco baseball team. On how to mix up the heavy batter. <laughs> So I'll leave you as I always say to the captains in the ferry boats when they take me out. I hope you don't make a slip, Miss Lee. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lee. Thank you. We feel that many a truth is passed in your jet. And if we pretend to misunderstand some of them, just bear in mind that old slogan, ours not to reason why. And remember, for every why, there's a reason.
Tears in the Dark from Orange Blossom. Now I'll see you again from Bittersweet. Gus Arnheim and his orchestra from the beautiful embassy room of the Hotel St. Francis in San Francisco bid you a symphonic adieu as the ether curtain slowly descends on another MJB demi-task review. Your entertainment is our desire. And so until the same time next Monday, good night and good coffee. Remember, Gus Arnheim with Miss Tizzy Lish. Tonight's program included Good Night, Lovely Little Lady from We're Not Resting. Your announcer, Clinton Twist. Signing off for MJB Rice 3 p and MJB Day Coffee of America. This is the National Broadcasting Company.